the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. I start taking on characteristics of them. Yeah. The more I learn about them, the more those those characteristics manifest in me. The more time you spend with them. Yeah. Uh, you know, I start liking things that he likes. I start not liking things that that he don't like. You know what I'm saying? So you 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 start to build on those attributes. Yeah. And so just like my my child, he, he walks like me, even though he kind of sounds like me. Yeah. We laugh yeah. alike. And it's just that, it's just how it is. It's how well, God has, has made what us. Yeah, right. But look at this, throw it, throw it What piece, correct me if I'm wrong, it's, it's my home too, don't get wrong. The piece about how you study the word of God, how you, you know, get into the word of God, is that is reflective of who, you, you know, what you are, opposed mm -hmm. to these other characteristics you see what i'm saying yeah we we talk they sound like me they talk like me but they don't do everything that i do yeah they, they don't get they, the part that i want them to do is they study like me right they have a connection yeah. like me you see what i'm saying <laughs> that that's yeah. he said i think we my wife one time said this summer why well, didn't marry a preacher well you know that, 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 that that's that's irrelevant because that title is irrelevant. Yeah, that that's that's that has nothing to do. That has nothing. Come on, that, with talk. you. Come on, brother. Come on. You, you know that that title is a title. It's a title. It's a title. You know, and that that is that that is you. You are a child of God. Yeah, that's the like she's a child of God. Exactly. And Come on, bro. You're, you're you have a gift yes. to do that to share that word yes. and then you you achieve that that title yes. because god put you in that position yeah that's one of the gifts you know, or or you get that title because man put you in that position and, and you what, know? what i got from that too brother is this okay what if let's take this person with a title let's put that person to the side what do you think a man of god now i'm talking a person not person got the five four ministry gifts yeah what what is the expectation of what that person is supposed to be yeah he is a preacher yeah he, he is a teacher because he was sent he sent all of us he told us he the whole five four minutes to give is to equip us, all yeah. of us, to do what the work, the work of the ministry. So you take a man that's not a minister, but he has been sent. First, he ministers. First of all, uh, uh, the Bible says, "Come on." The moment uh -huh. in a twinkling of an eye. That your spirit has been transformed. You have become a minister of reconciliation. That's what the Bible says. We are all ministers of reconciliation. The minute, and, and what's so beautiful about it, there's hardly, I, I can't think of many folks who have received Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. That was not automatically ministering. Yeah, yeah. Because you have to tell somebody. I'm saying. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that's that's ministering yes. reconciliation. Yes. That is you testifying so that someone else can overcome from yeah. your testimony. Come on. If I can be saved, then you can be saved. You can be saved. That's what that's all about. That's what it's about. You know, in fact, you, did you catch it growing up in church where time a man or woman, we're going to talk about man right now, time a man of God, I'm talking about a person who received Jesus Christ, a person who said they're not a minister, not a whatever, 
and they start to get into the word. Somebody says, have you picked up the phone? Have you, have, did, did you, have, didn't you get a calling? They, in other words, yeah. they, want, they want to mod automatically put you into another category. Or even, even worse. Okay, well, we need you to get on one of these auxiliaries in this, <laughs> in this church. Yeah. We, yeah. we need you to work to keep this local body together. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, I think, <laughs> and then we need this, and you have to be indoctrinated uh -huh. into this church. Oh, yeah. You got to learn how to oh. act in our church. Yeah. And then, in fact, still, I hate the fact that they're saying how to act in the, I think they literally mean in the church, in the ministry. Yeah. In and, that particular ministry. Yeah. But look, look, I think I say, I, say, I still say not in the home. Yeah. I, I, I don't, it's almost like I don't care how you act in the home. Yeah. Yeah. How you act. And that's how I think that's about how you need to act here. Yeah. Yes, sir. If, I remember T.D. Jakes was talking about the fact is, and you probably experienced this yourself because you, all this came from that kind of same era a little bit. People used to, you know, when, when you was out with the boys and you had your, you, you might have your little beer and whatever you're, you know, with and you're going out doing things and you, and if you're going past your church or maybe some other churches too, but mostly ministries, church buildings, mm -hmm. you have a tendency to be quiet. Oh man, that's how it was when I was growing up. <laughs> You know, you could you could be in the midst of of devilment, and you get next to that church, it all ceases until you pass that church up. But that was reverence. That was something that you that you were re you didn't, you weren't even taught that. It's just you know that was sacred ground. Hey, look, here's the problem. Yeah, he with you all the time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He said, yeah. I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. Yeah. Other yeah. words, your home, you yeah. are reverence, ground, sacred, sacred ground. Because yeah. you are part of the body. Is, is that, I think I'm, a, are we, are we, who is the church? We are the church. We are the church. <laughs> you know, it, which, which brings up something, man. This is so crazy, man. I used to be what what the church coined as a prayer warrior. Okay. <laughs> Ain't nowhere in the Bible. <laughs> but, you know, it was something that, that I did. And I would pray uh, before the service would start. Come on now. Yeah. Supposedly setting the atmosphere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, uh, uh, uh ridding the church of, of demonic spirits and such and so and then ushering in the holy spirit Woo. really <laughs> when i showed up he was there he was there <laughs> <laughs> he said what you know what i'm saying yeah so it, it's just and 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 who am i how, how am i able <laughs> to get rid of demonic spirit they they were around jesus all the time come on now he can't get out of here. Yeah. yeah, all the time, and that we need something right. Look, he he was dealing with one right at the supper. <laughs> I did. He did. That's why he said put on a whole. That's why the scripture put on a whole arm of God, right? Yeah, yeah, because the weapons of warfare are not carnal. In other words, we're matter in fact, warfare. Matter of fact, why you in the service? Yes, hearing the word. The enemy has to be there. You know why? Because the Bible says he's there for the word's sake. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to take it out of you. Just because the word is being taught, he's there. Trying to get it Because the word says that. So how, 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 it's just so much stuff. It's it just, yeah, yeah. We're not talking. It's religion. You know, we, we've gotten into so much religion. Exactly. Because, I mean, that's what I'm saying is it had to be religion to when we go back to back in the world things again and you like I said the things that upset you but the point is this how can you be a racist and be part of the body of Christ it's because someone taught you that is either it is okay to do that 
when you leave the building, because now you're no longer under the reverence of the building. Mm -hmm. You don't, you, my fact, you're not, the building represents the presence of God. And not understanding that the presence of God goes with you. Yeah. You you sit there and there's, there's people, hey, some people out there listening now that um, when you black or white, you go home or you go into a meeting with some other people, a fellowship with other people, and then start talking bad about your other people that's part of the body of Christ. You talk, you know, he said, love, he said, look at it. The scripture said in John 13, 34, a new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. 35 is saying is, this is how the world will know that you are my disciple is the love that you show to one another. Yeah. That is not in the church building only. Yeah. Come on, uh, you, you see what I'm saying? That is not in the church building only. You can sit there when you have a black man and a white man and any and all of them coming to the sanctuary. We love one another. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, brother, God bless you. You good brother. Yes, 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 you are good brother. I appreciate you coming here. I appreciate we worship together. I appreciate we fellowship together. I appreciate we pray together. I appreciate that we read the same word together. But you go out there, you leave that building for some reason, you're no longer meeting the same criteria that you've been reading as if it only applied in the building and i think you made the comment a couple of times before but the fact is it's not the building it's you yeah and we and and and, and you we're, some, we're ambassador what? Look, we're ambassadors only in the building. <laughs> hey, is that, is that what it is, brother? <laughs> hey, look, we're ambassadors in the building. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. look, we, we're ambassadors uh, uh, in the in, in the uh, in the Zoom. In meeting. the presence of the past. <laughs> you see, what I'm saying we're ambassadors then. And 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 I I, I had a look. I tell you, said I was telling my wife, not my wife, my mom. I've been going over sometimes, like we discuss some revelation and stuff. This is what my mom said. I know that as a mom it, it ain't about the fact that you know that it's the yeah. fact is that first of all you should be saying amen yeah, yeah. you didn't know that but <laughs> you got it now brother yeah it, it's, it's it's she's like what well, she, do she says she's like what's well, that like you're telling me something you you're telling me something as if it's new and i said mom it should never be something new really it should be a revelation of what is written mm -hmm. and 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 becomes more real to you as a person and when i if i share it to you that means it's just me sharing what you know what i mean what what's in you what's in me what god is revealing to me and what's coming real to me and then we're fellowship about it you can either reinforce that or you can say hey i, I mean i receive that too in the name of jesus you know what i mean uh, so, so you you tapped on the sun for me, and, and I we're gonna have to do these scriptures real quick. So, okay, I said, I said we didn't care. We talk, we talk some word, we show some word, we'll show some word. But well, uh, unfortunately, I I do have to get up out of here. It's a little way Yeah. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> but but <laughs> um, well. Let's, let's go ahead and go over a few of these scriptures. Let's, let's go one, one slide. I just wanted to go over the Nicodemus encounter. And then we go with that, all right? And then let you yeah. go. Amen. And, and maybe you'll share that with them. <laughs> share a little fellowship with people. I think people still think it's restricted to the home. And it's not. I mean, to church. It's not. It's, we should share that. Go ahead, bro. Talk to me. There was a... There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. So there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, is what they should say. <laughs> a ruler of the Jews. Uh -huh. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. 
For no man can do these miracles that thou dost, doest, except God be with him. Yeah, yeah. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Uh -huh. And he entered the second time into his mother's womb and be born. Hey, hey we can stop. I, this is something that I, I actually saw for the first time. Oh, okay, what? what? That the scriptures actually describe what a Pharisee is. Yeah, a ruler. Yeah. He is a ruler of the Jews. Yes. That was the first time I ever noticed that. Yeah, otherwise it's like a it, yeah. Yeah. I always know as, as spiritual leaders. Right? Yeah, but 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 this is a ruler. I mean this yeah. that, that says a lot. It does. It's a different that's put a different title on it. Because you always yeah. know the Pharisees that they were like preachers and yeah. ministers. That's what you thought. All they did was just teach, you know, they go to the synagogue and that was that. Yeah. No, these people were rulers over them. Yes, sir. That's why they put it first. There yeah. was a man of the Pharisees, because it's the Pharisees that are our rulers in the okay. Sadducees, too. Right? And then, yeah. no, like Jesus, the man was, he came at night. He came, he didn't come with the rest of the, you see what I'm saying? Is, yeah. I got yeah. this secretly. Yeah. And the fact is, what he was saying, the obvious saying is, he said, We. Did you catch that part? Yeah. We, we didn't want to stone you. We didn't want to arrest you. We didn't want to call you a sinner. We. He said, otherwise, he reckoned out all those people knew that this man came from God. Mm -hmm. But publicly, they denounced him. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting, right? You would you would think with them. Well, no. It, it was it was it was what it was. It was just you know, because because the the Christ was actually hidden in types and shadows in the Old Testament. Uh -huh. So even Paul said it, it, it wasn't to be revealed until Jesus did what he did. What what as you far know, as being the Messiah? Right. Pardon? As far as being the Messiah. Yeah. Right? But as far so, as a teacher from God, look I mean look yeah. at Oh yeah. 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 So for 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 them to uh, be in the position they were in, it yes, was sir. because God had had proclaimed it to be so. Right. It, it was, because it was prophesied that these very specific people yes, sir. would be the ones who would do what they did. Yes, sir. Because it, I mean, it, even it was prophesied that they didn't know who he was, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he would come, and they wouldn't know him. Right. These were prophecies that were being fulfilled. So, uh, it was only right that they would not accept him for who he was. You know, not all of them. Well, he said. He so, uh, but this was this was. Uh, very significant in yeah. my mind. It is a fact that they, in, in that main part of that we know that thou art a teacher yeah. come from God. And regardless yeah. of that, I'm going to come to you at nighttime and then I'm not even going to defend you during the trial because even though we know, you see know what I'm saying? All of them, when he went to, that I means a whole bunch, a lot of them knew that he was from God. Yeah. And yet when he had the trial, none of them stood up for him yeah that mean they never stood up for the god just like G, just like jeremiah and then you know there's nothing specifically saying that nicodemus was there well you know, at that time um, no, no he wasn't he i know that we don't know where he was or not we know that he yeah. was callous many times when they told him about searching scriptures remember that time yeah comment they said search the scriptures where, where is it is somebody from Galilee? Where, yeah. Where, you see what I'm saying? And 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 opposed to the fact that well, he lived in Galilee. Yeah. yeah. But where was he born? 
Hmm. Interesting. And then the, the Jesus answered, "Look at this though. He says the kingdom of God right there. Yeah. Cannot, cannot show me the Father. Look, cannot see. I just want to throw it back at you. Look. Let the man be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Are you a fool? You see that? <laughs> show me Jesus. Well, unless you're born again, you you you." That's why it doesn't matter how long I've been with you. If you're not born again, you can't see. You can't see the king. Okay. You're, you're actually, the Bible says your eyes are blinded. It, come on, brother. When somebody says, it says that, that fits into that parallel saying, show me Jesus. Well, are you yeah. born again? Do you want to be born again? If you want to see Jesus, you got to get born again. Yeah. Oh. This is how you see you want to see Jesus, then you have to accept him as your Lord and Savior. Come on! Come on! Then you can see him. <laughs> you know, but if, if outside of that, you, you're stuck with me, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's funny, the thing is that, look, Nicodemus, verse 4, he's shown from a cardinal perspective. Yeah. All that, you know he's talking spirit, but yeah. Nicodemus could only relate at a cardinal level. Yeah, I mean, and this is what's crazy. He's talking about someone who is coming from a spirit. Yes. So it's 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 crazy that it, we know that our teacher comes from God. Come from so he know that you 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 come from spirit. Yes. Yes. And these miracles are coming from spirit. Yes. Because the spirit is with you. Right. We know it. And then he says, <laughs> well, you can't see this spirit that I come from unless you're born again. Right. And then he can't relate to it. It's like, wait a minute. Do you want me to go and He goes straight back to natural. He goes straight to natural. And look, what you just said is funny because Jesus said it's crazy too. Look at it. Go ahead and read the rest. <laughs> We're going to finish it up. We're gonna... answer, very rarely I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Yes. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Yes, sir. Marvel not that I said unto thee, <laughs> Be born again. You ain't gonna get it. Get Wind it. bloweth where it listeth, mm -hmm. and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whence it come, come on. and whether it goes. Yes, sir. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Come on. Nicodemus come on. answered and said unto him, How can these things be? And then, look, and then with, with this last he, he just told him how they be. He did. <laughs> <laughs> He's still cardinal. That's the whole point. Look, because you said yeah. what you said right here. Go to the last. This is the last slide for that. Then we finish. Look. Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel and knowest not these things? You hear that? How, how, can you, how could you know the scriptures but not know what I'm talking about? And he said, Master, too. Very, very, yeah. Very rarely I say unto thee, We speak that we do know and testify that we have seen. And ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, <laughs> ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Yes, sir. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And he said that what you were saying is, how do you know these things? Yeah. And I think that's the whole point about how when we talk about people go to church and then when when they go out in the world, how, how do you not know these things? Did you not did you not what did you learn when you was in church today? Or how many people we saw about the challenge and what did they talk, you know, like they asked you and what did they talk about in church? Uh, uh, no, when you see them, oh, where where you coming from? Church? Oh, I was. Oh, man, church was awesome. What did you learn? Oh, uh, we learned. Uh, <laughs> Let me ask you something, ain't it? That's what, a, that, what scriptures did you cover? Oh, uh, you know the one. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And you can say, hey, give me one, just one, bro. Just give me one. What, 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 what was the focus of it? What, what, what was broken down? And that tells you and how- Not that you need to remember the scripture, but you can't even remember the content. Content of, yes. And look, that means that Satan who comes immediately- Immediately. Take the word- For the word say. In the hearts of man. Yeah. And so that, we know what that word was, 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 was fell by the wayside. Yes, sir. And I think, and we're close to that. The fact is that that's what he don't want you to and condition the mind of us not to communicate these things outside the building. Yeah. The only time you do is somebody who's in the word. You ever notice that? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's very rare that you can sit there and say, man, man, God gave me a revelation. Let's talk about it. And you uh, only somebody who have been in tune wants to discuss it. Yeah, yeah. Somebody who loves the word. Yes, sir. Who loves God. So just go ahead and we'll close with that. You need prayers out, but just try okay. to see how we can encourage conversations other than in a church forum. Yeah. Room forum. We got yeah. people, we got children, we got wives, we got relatives that visit. <laughs> but we don't talk about those things, and we should. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. So prayers out, good brother. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, Heavenly Father, we truly, truly thank you once again for this fellowship that we have. We thank you for all those who may have tapped into this source that we are participating in. Yes. We thank you for the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit has revealed what you would have us to know, Lord God, the revelations of heaven hmm. and of the different things that you would have us to be and hmm. have us to know. So we thank you for that, Lord God. We, we pray that all this word and these scriptures fall on good ground, Lord God, yeah. that not enter into our storehouse yeah. and take away what we have have gained, Lord God. Yeah. We pray that they develop the fruits of the Spirit as you see fit in us, that we carry these things out into our daily walks, that we share your word with others, Lord God, that we proclaim the kingdom of God everywhere we go, every chance that we are able to, Lord God, and that we fall under the Holy Spirit and that we hear with all clarity and understanding so that we can regurgitate what you put into us. Yes. And we thank you for these things. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Well, you go ahead, good brother, enjoy your company. and uh... Amen. Catch you next week. Stay All right. Bless.